who is best for business, who is the worst the WWE champion in history as far as drawing is concerned. I'll tell you one thing. It is not what the reports say it is. We're going to go over all that today right here on the podcast. Here is the intro and I'll be back in just a minute. Wrestling fans, you know, guys, I want you to sit back and I want you to ask yourselves this question and put it in the comments below after you answer it. What makes a good WWE champion? What makes a good WWE champion? Is it the an antagonist? Is it the style of in-ring competition that we see that drags us back to the television set so we can see what performance they are going to give us every Monday and Tuesday night? Is it the promo work that we see? Is it the storytelling? Numerous upon numerous things can make a good WWE champion. Right? When we think about these WWE champions of this era, who comes to mind? Brock Lesnar, possibly if you are a Brock Lesnar fan. AJ Styles. Seth Rollins. Numerous. Dean Ambrose. Laundry list of WWE champions of this era that you possibly might like. I wouldn't necessarily put Brock Lesnar on it because I'm not a Brock Lesnar fan if he has a championship, but he's held a title for years on end, so I have to put him on that. Now, wrestling fans, I was on the internet Scrolling through to see if there's any good news and rumors to bring to you today, last night. And I come across something that I think everybody, everybody would be interested in. Because, because, as you know, we witnessed one of the worst reigns a few years ago in WWE history when the modern day fell Raja Jinder Mahal became WWE champion and had a six month title reign on Smackdown Live right? A six-month title reign. He, as we know, went on to have a rivalry with Randy Orton. Went on to (sighs) get his title saved by the great Kali, by the Singh brothers, by numerous other things, and take SmackDown right down into the gutter until AJ Styles captured the championship and bring it back to prosperity. Right? Well, wrestling fans, 
let me tell you this. The report that I saw where it said that Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston are worse draws than Jinder Mahal, which in my eyes pretty much states that they are worse WWE champions than Jinder Mahal is a crock. Because you cannot put that just by based off house shows. You cannot. You cannot say that Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston are worse WWE champions than Jinder Mahal. I'm going to explain that to you today. And you all let me know what you're thinking about that right here on the podcast down below. All right, wrestling fans. I mean, seriously. You cannot. Now, take Seth Rollins, for example. Number one. Look at the rivalries that he has been in. Brock Lesnar and Baron Corbin. Let me repeat that. Brock Lesnar and Baron Corbin. Now, compare those two and Jinder Mahal's rivalry. Now, Jinder Mahal's rivalry, at least he had one with Randy Orton. Randy Orton, you you would say would deserve a WWE championship opportunity. Baron Corbin, give me a break. What has Baron Corbin done to deserve a universal championship rivalry? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Beat Kurt Angle at WrestleMania? Kurt Angle was already in retirement. He announced his retirement match. Brock Lesnar? Nobody wants to see Brock Lesnar in a Universal Championship uh, uh, matchup. Nobody. WWE listens to Brock Lesnar about putting him in this. And and quite frankly, the creative just simply doesn't have anything else for Brock Lesnar to do. I think everybody out there in the WWE Universe would agree with me on that. Now sure, there are some people out there that do not like Seth Rollins. But, for the majority, when Seth Rollins captured the Universal Championship, it was, it was not like the WrestleManias of the past, where they gave the title to a superstar, where people puked. When he won it. So don't tell me. That it's because of. The person. Who is holding the championship. It's the rivalry. That you are putting. The champion in. And then. You put him. In this rivalry. that In the situation. Where he's with Becky Lynch. And, and, and you put his real life uh, 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 situation, his real life uh, 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 dating situation, 
towards the end of his title reign, uh, uh, WWE Inquisitor, whoever made this entire article, do you expect people to come to the arena when you make this type of rivalry? I have one answer for you. No. Absolutely not. Plus, you look at the other rivalries, the other storylines that WWE has been giving us all the way through the spring months on our way to SummerSlam. Do you expect us to get invested in Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman? I got one word for you. No. Absolutely not. Until Paul Heyman got in, uh, invested into uh, uh, the creative lines uh, in charge. No one has really cared about uh, uh, Monday Night Raw. <sighs> as far as Kofi Kingston, you put him in this meaningless storyline. Meaningless. With Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe... I mean, seriously, you have him out there throwing pancakes, not looking like a serious WWE champion. It's one thing to keep on throwing pancakes every once in a while to uh, 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 keep on selling the New Day merchandise, but you have to look serious to some degree because you are holding the most prestigious championship in WWE history, bar none. More prestigious than the Universal Championship. More prestigious. Because of what the title means. It's history. Until Seth Rollins got the title, that title was useless. As far as Universal. I will say that and mean it bar none. Brock Lesnar took that title and ran it into the ground. Now, as far as WWE titles concerned, what WWE did to Kofi Kingston's title reign is say, hey, you're going to have this pancake, emotional, fun, uh, roller coaster of a ride of a championship, and you're just going to hold on to it until SummerSlam. And I hate to disappoint you, y'all folks. You're going to hold on to it to SummerSlam, and then Randy Orton is going to RKO end your championship title reign. That's what's coming. Why? Because WWE, Vince McMahon, Kevin Dunn, Fox, is not going to want Kofi Kingston to hold... The WWE Championship going into SmackDown Live on Fox. That's it. That's it. Now, wrestling fans, as far as Brock Lesnar being best for business, as Universal Champion? Give me a break. Give me a break. Do you honestly think that the title being off TV the majority of the time is best for business? No! No! What makes anybody believe 
that that's best for business. Put it on, you don't want it on Seth Rollins, okay. But why in the world do we have to make the Universal Championship the Brock Lesnar Championship? That's what the Universal title is. Why don't we... I, 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 I'm telling you. Brock Lesnar is going to win at SummerSlam. WrestleMania, he's going to drop it. At WrestleMania, have AJ Styles beat Brock Lesnar. I bet that's where they're going. They have AJ Styles as a heel right now. They're helping Ricochet right now with AJ Styles. I bet that's where they're going. AJ Styles will be Universal Champion sooner rather than later. But Brock Lesnar is not best for business. He... No. Now, it, 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 if anybody thinks that butts will get in the seats more with the title off TV, the only time the more butts will get in the seats more is when Brock Lesnar is going to be scheduled to be on TV. But why in the world would that make a difference if he has a championship or not? I'm getting out of here. I hope you all understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this uh, uh, situation. Uh, uh, when it comes to these uh, 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 champions. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And why... Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston are not worse draws as Jinder Mahal and Brock Lesnar is not best for business as Universal Champion. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. You can't always go strictly by the numbers, like I know some people do, and like I know WWE is doing. You have to look at what creative is doing. Take that as responsibility, and take what you're doing on the undercard as well, okay? It is not always the top of the card's fault, alright? It's not. Anyway... Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And always become a subscriber today. And until I see you again, this is Webby. And I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.